Welcome to the Dog Classroom. The Dog Classroom Podcast. I am your co-host, Anne-Marie. And I'm your co-host, Amelia. Like and subscribe on Spotify and YouTube in video format. And now into the episode. Can we put you in the frame counting us in? So you're like, this is what we do? Yeah, let's do it. This is how we do the Dog Classroom Podcast. Five, four, three. Welcome back to the Dog Classroom Podcast. We are doing a special bonus episode today with our guest. The Michaelated. The Michaelated. Um, we wanted to do this. We thought it'd be fun because um, we have now been spending a lot of time together. Yes, we oh, have. Every week. Every week. Every week. Um, <laughs> three, four hours. It's nice. Recording an entire year of podcasts. So. That's, cr- that's crazy. That's I wild. know. We did it. Yeah. 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 How does so. it feel? It's been a journey. Yeah, for sure. It's going to be weird. Like, what am I going to do next week? Yeah. I don't know. We might be here. We'll just show up. That's good. Yeah. Moet will be here. Moet, are you going to be here, Moet? Yeah. Because Moet helped us to produce this for you. We've been very honored that you were choosing us to do the podcast. And now you also said, I have to be here. <laughs> yeah. Well, I yeah, think well, the people want to know. We gently <laughs> asked or, or implied or suggested. Yeah, I said, I think it's a great idea. Yeah. So um, why don't we start with maybe introducing you and Moet and like, what do you do? How did you get into into podcasting? Oh, I didn't know we were doing the interview. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Damn, but we I did. We did tell him we'd put him on the on the spot. It's yeah. oh, sp- I'm on the spot. So Moet sent me his resume. Right, Moet? Yep. yep. Like a couple months ago? Mm, yeah, pretty much, yeah. That's Almost all. Almost a year ago. Yeah, I didn't know Moet. Can they see him? No way. No, unfortunately, no. They can hear him. You want to walk into here, Moet? Nah, it's okay. Okay. We'll just put a picture of him at the end. Oh, God, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, Joshua knows Moet, and Joshua was one of the first people who helped me to produce the Michaelated when we had multiple cameras, because then you have to cut instead of just having we stream through YouTube Mm -hmm. and then it's easier if somebody pushes the button instead of alternating afterwards and do all the edits for four different streams. Ah, okay. So yeah, I can't do it by myself and mode is the best. And he sent me his resume and then I hired him. Awesome. Yeah. And we've we've learned a lot about each other now, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you like dogs? Oh, I love dogs. Do you have a dog? I have one in India, yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. I remember him telling us that he didn't have one here, but he had one at home. Okay. That's yeah. right, yeah. I have a golden retriever. Aw. Well, now we need a picture. <laughs> there we, we go. Yeah. Maybe he'll work on that for Yeah, a minute, there you go. But yeah. he is also doing like two or three other things. So. That's fine. Yeah, he's yeah. very busy. Um, I find that when we're here and we're recording, it's like there's like stuff going on that we I just don't even know about. No, because we're so engulfed in our... Yeah. Yeah. But it's definitely a lot of work on on your guys' part. Um, I know they can't see you, but Mm -hmm. Michael's always here across the table from us. Yeah, how weird Uh, is that? Is that weird? No, it's helpful. No, like, remember the the comment was, we like when you nod and you make facial expressions, Mm -hmm. but the odd time when your eyes glaze over a little bit. But then we know, right? Yeah. Oh, we're not being captivating. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Or when I get up and change the battery in the camera. No, in the that's of the actually stream. quite good. Do you, yeah. like, does it like, you guys are just so. We're so professional. You have grown <laughs> so much. Like, you know, we've, I, I didn't sit on the ones you made at home and they are beautiful too. And you know, you kept going for the consistency. Yeah. yeah. A huge yeah. respect for that. And you just kept going. It's so good. And now we've done. 26 episodes, 25, yeah. and before that a little bit too. Yeah, we did eight the first time. And then this is, I think, the 25th or 26th yeah, so that's of this like, season. Wow. You have professional specialists in dog yeah, classroom and podcasts. We're, we're, uh, we're still working on our uh, podcast um, tone. We're our, not as exciting as you. No, we don't mm. have the verbal articulation. You know what I really like when you guys do, hmm, hmm. <laughs> Hmm. We're trying to be engaging. So good. But I could watch that all day. It's been it's been fun. Yeah. It's been super fun. And so we thought it would be interesting to go through um some of the topics oh, that we have oh, done okay. and just mm-hmm. chit chat about it and see what your what your guys' thoughts were on it and okay. we're and gonna throw out some thoughts too, because yeah. you know, I had a few with when Amelia had her um 
guests on and I was on vacation. Right. And um, then there was a few times where Amelia was um, sort of in the in the background and then I had a few guests. So we thought, you know, this would be a fantastic conclusion to get your guys input if you want to input. Mm -hmm. And um, because you literally have been here listening to every episode and so. <laughs> and the background and the cutouts and the snippets and I don't oh know where God, I, got the I don't even snippets. like before I post the episode I don't like listening to it back and hearing my voice so I can't imagine really? sitting really there. yeah oh wow I don't like it's weird because remember the first ones we did you sent me and I was on the beach in Myrtle Beach That's in my vacation yeah in my lawn chair listening to them, listening to our voices. I was a little bit weird, but. It's a bit weird. Mm, but you have the headphones on now too, right? You yeah. hear yourself all the time. Yeah, we do. It's just it different. is quite different with the headphones on, the headphones off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then just thinking like you're sitting there editing it and listening to my voice and it's just like, oh. Well yeah. then obviously he's not really bothered by it because yeah. he's just doing it a lot. Remember I sent you that video of you running in slow-mo? Yeah. That was so funny. Did oh you show Anne-Marie? No, I didn't. Okay. Um, it was from the <laughs> night that we did the, the oh, intro photo yeah. shoot <laughs> and Stark came in the door and I was just... Oh, I remember, the in it. I remember that in full speed. Oh, I th good. I yeah, think I would like to too. break down the body language of it in, in slow-mo. The though. body language was like, abandon Nuggy, <laughs> run. <laughs> so good. In the look. <laughs> yes, the yeah. panic. Um, so... We'll start off yeah, with, what was her first topic? Kids and dogs. That was the first one when we came back mm. um, after the holidays, right? That was... Yeah. Could be. I so. My mind is all over. Yeah. yeah. So you know what? Yeah. We don't have to worry necessarily when, but in having... So here's a question that just came. Um, you having two younger kids, mm. right? Because Amelia... Four? Three. Three? Oh, we were both oh, wrong. we forgot the baby though. Mm -hmm. I, I just sort of missed. I didn't forget the baby. I did forgot the baby because okay. I was on the two thing. And I thought then... there was an older one though. Eight, three, and seven, eight months. Yeah, hmm. so the baby. I forgot about the baby. I thought there was like an eleven-year-old or some reason. No, no. Okay. Well, he's that's Albus. He's eight. Maybe, oh, maybe okay. you yeah. thought he's older. Anyway, um, from that episode, what did you take from that as a parent? As a parent? Yeah. Specifically on the topic? Yeah. That you, parents are not perfect. That's true. Yeah. You know, and like, you know, there's a lot of things that you do and the perspective that it really helps to release some pressure off, you know, it is what it is. And you can only get better if you work on it with the right techniques and with the right input. Yeah. The thing I wanted to be sort of selfish to say is just people to understand the, um, I don't want to say the association of dogs and kids together, but finding the balance. That's what I want to say. It's about yeah. finding the balance as they both mature. So whether the dog is already an adult or senior when you have the baby or vice versa, it's, it's about finding, um, the the way for them both to coexist and grow together yeah i have a story as a child okay. you know we had a west white west failure mm -hmm. the one that they have on the caesar package yeah the west highland white Terrier. yeah my mom yeah. picked that was her dream dog mm -hmm. okay and you know she got her name was cindy and when i was like doing summer vacation sometimes we were going on trips just for kids only and i wouldn't be at home and you know kids get homesick mm -hmm. and then they my parents sent me a picture of me and the doggy and you know and that was like with a note on the back and oh, that's then cute. yeah i think dogs for kids can be very very special mm -hmm. and then you know it's a, like very special emotional support that relates yeah. me like that's a good story for me yeah, and I think um, parents need to understand that each child will have a different relationship with each dog or dogs in general. And you might find that about your kids where, you know, one of your children might, you know, be wanting to pet the dog or see the dog and mm -hmm. the other may just be like, yeah, whatever, mm -hmm. you know, so it's just, yeah, mm -hmm. it, it depends on it depends on how they grow and, and the interaction. So. 
Well, they definitely like Nuggie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were all over. Yeah, they, they, they liked all of them. Yeah, yeah. That was when Holly was there too. They no, came, okay. They came for a little visit. It was nice. Yeah, we dropped off the USB stick. Yeah. Oh, okay. You just had moved. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that was the new house. So no oh, internet, okay. but the launch. No internet. Be consistent. Right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> It needed to be consistent. Um, and then multi-dog households, I guess that's not super relevant to you and Moet, but mm -hmm. um, maybe there's maybe there's something that we liked from that episode. I think it's, it's um, I don't want to say it's a, bal a balancing act. I think I'm, when I talk about the dogs, you know, at first I say to people, and I don't want to say I'm embarrassed, I have five dogs, but I sort of hold my breath and I make a bit of a face because everybody's like, oh, um, but when I actually look at it and one of the articles is I, I broke it down and I think Amelia and I are going to do like a Facebook live or a little Instagram video or something and actually talk about a lot of people ask me why I have the dogs I have mm -hmm. in the order. And I honestly, you know, not to say I compare them to my human children, but it's, it's nice to talk about them and the qualities that they yeah. have and, and just to break that down and and I look at Alfie in specifically just how things have changed over the years and how they've it's grown true. up but I can sit here and say that about my 16 year old or my 19 year old and it's sort of the same where it's just to make sure that the expectations are that the dog you know never ages and is always the same there there's going to be little quirks and bumps in the road so yeah I think one of the things that um, I recall getting feedback on was from people who were considering adding another dog, like people who didn't have multi-dog households, and then they listened to it and they were like, oh, I didn't realize like it wouldn't be a great idea to, you know, get two of the same sex or get two yeah. litter mates or like mm. they, they picked something out of it that they found helpful, even though they weren't, you know, people with multiple dogs. Yeah. So I thought that was a good topic. Okay. 100%, a really good topic. All the topics you have though are really, like really targeted niche into a great perspective. Which is interesting because when we put together the list of topics, it was really just us throwing stuff around that we like to talk about. Yeah, <laughs> there was no like marketing was, strategy. No, with it. no, and it was also just about you know questions we had been asked yeah. before, or questions, or especially information we feel that people would benefit from. Right. Yeah, things yeah. we wanted people to know, and that's good from our perspective because we know what we want people to know. Yeah. But then maybe from your perspective, you're saying, hey, why don't you do an episode on this and we don't know. We didn't. We didn't hit possibly everything, but there's like we could do a whole another season. You remember when I asked you about the full moon? If the full moon affects the dogs, yeah, yeah, that was like something I was interested in. Yeah, and there's lots of stuff like that that comes up, and I feel like we could do whole episodes on <laughs> um, just answering people's questions, right? Yeah, but and and different um, changes or even comments. We could whole episode on just comments comments that they make that their dog does it would just be fun to yeah. further dive into them maybe we'll do that for next season okay i want to talk about julia as a guest i loved having julia as a guest i was yeah. sort of in the background for you that were here one. for half of it right yeah 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 um so julia was the you, you came back from your vacation that day i did <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes she was uh, back from her vacation um you were here yeah. And uh, it was, she was the social worker who we talked about adolescent dogs and then just Yeah, about, she has a chihuahua, right? Yeah, she has a yeah. chihuahua yeah. and a papillon. Mm -hmm. Ah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. I follow her on Instagram. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I told her she had to come on your show because I think she would be wonderful. Yeah. She's such a great speaker. So calm. Very calm. And I think she articulates things so well. And her point of view on things is just so um, interesting to me. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it is like things that I'm thinking, but I don't necessarily know how to say. Mm. And so I found having her as a guest was good because she knows how to put those things in the way it. she worded some things. Yeah, Like I, I honestly want to go back and just take some phrases, you know, and for when, you know, I'm doing a consult or people ask questions. Cause I just think like you, again, you said she says things really well in the articulation that I would really like to, you know, just comment and use those phrases because I think they so got the point across, right? Mm -hmm. In like one sentence where sometimes if you don't have that, you know, you're yeah. sitting there talking and, you know, it's a paragraph later. So it was sort of nice with the one sentence. And 
I honestly think it's so cool how she did um, the two together where they compliment each other. Because, yeah. you know, I joke a little bit is say I know about more dog behavior than my teenage behavior. So not again that I compare the dogs to the kids. But, you know, I know a lot of what goes on and it actually happens as the the kids mature as well so like a little bit for you mike for like food for thought is is the teenage years and stuff like mm -hmm. you know in in being in like, them no. or coming out of them i i would say like she's like bang on yeah I believe yeah it. yeah and i yeah. think um i actually never even considered that you had literal adolescent children i don't know why that never crossed my mind yeah because you still think they're i think like they're four like four i think they're and babies. seven or something mm -hmm. yeah four and eight in my yeah. head that's when you first met them yeah yeah they, and that's they where drive they now but she still thinks <laughs> it blows my mind that they drive it's crazy right yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah but i think um that was such a good perspective and i think with the adolescent dogs and in particular um because she and i do the adolescent dog webinar okay and i'm constantly telling people i'm like i i think everybody that has a dog like needs to do this webinar they do and yeah it it feels weird because i'm like i can't express why i need julia to express why <laughs> but <laughs> but but what she says is so important and like i don't want it to be like oh this is my webinar so you should do it but i really think that the information that she provides and how she relates it between like the the way that she talks about the studies and how they were replicated with dogs and humans and all that stuff is is really interesting because i think a lot of time we see the frustration um with people and it's like well you have kids you're somewhat gonna do go through this again right yeah. so um you want them to learn to have the patience and look for the little things and have the aha moments and that's actually what she says yeah. So think about it too. She got in here. She was thrown into this chair. Never did a podcast before. Yeah. She also didn't know we were doing more than one. That's a fun fact. <laughs> and then she was just like, she did it. She didn't know so what we were well. talking about. Yeah. But that's the thing. And making her a professional, mm -hmm. same thing is you can ask her anything or say anything to her. And like, she's on. Like, right. you got it. Yeah. 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 But some people freeze up, right? Camera. Yeah. Oh. No. Yeah, but yeah. like that's really well, well done. Yeah. yeah, and the fun thing is in classes is she'll, like when she's she does small dog agility with um, Amelia and if we're talking about something or she hears a client say something, she's in there. Mm -hmm. Like she's, yeah, she, yeah. she does, she yeah. helps out. And I remember seeing this like completely unrelated, but I saw um, she did a speech at, uh, during COVID, Pride was online on Zoom. And she did a speech during uh, Pride Week. And I was like almost in tears. It was beautiful. Like she's a really good speaker in, in multiple topics. Mm, okay. So yeah, it was very interesting. But um, another another guest that we had yeah. was Dr. Jess, mm -hmm. Dr. Mm -hmm. uh, Paninton. Yep, Jessica Paninton. Mm. I liked when you always said, Dr. Paninton, what do you think about this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like sometimes she they work so hard, they, they need to be recognized and say doctor. Mm -hmm. in front though yeah. you know in being of staff course. yeah in yes. being staff with her and staff obviously we use their first names but um yeah she is the doctor mm -hmm. um the doctor the doctor the doctor <laughs> so um she uh i you know just i don't want to say have a backup but it was fun to have the little banter with her yeah because you and, guys have a relationship yeah right? but even to the different topics that we had and then so important so and important yeah because nowadays we not everybody knows you can get your dog into um mm -hmm. an appointment and why is that like that episode was so important right and you know what she brought up those topics she wanted to talk about them you know, yeah. and it, it is a very sensitive topic. And there's been a lot of comments through the media, mm -hmm. different media in Thunder Bay. And I think it's, it's unfortunate that I, I don't want to say that the, the veterinary veterinarians or whatever community hasn't spoken up, but you know, there's, there's just always more to it, mm -hmm. right? You can't yeah. just assume and just blame one, one set of people. It right. always, hurts my heart when I see like online on Facebook, whatever, and someone goes, oh, the vet charged me this and this and they're an extortionist and blah, blah, blah. And then it's like, that's a person, <laughs> first of all. And, and you know, there's there's so much that goes on that we don't know about mm -hmm. and don't understand. And, and it's just 
it's wild what they have to go through. Yeah, I like the part where you said, walk me through a day. Yeah. And then, you know, there you go. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, she was she was going a little bit light on it, Okay, you know, and because um, I've seen some of her days and I don't joke about the lunch hour thing. She didn't take lunch mm -hmm. um, and the majority of them don't. And, um, you know, everybody's like, you know, you have to see me now or whatever. Well, she's got a family. Yeah, she just worked till 730, yeah. you know, That's and crazy. and we we don't have uh, a merge clinic in Thunder Bay. Like they're not a nine to five job. And, you know, and that's unfortunately why we've lost quite a few of the vets in Thunder Bay, because we don't have an eMERGE clinic and mm -hmm. they don't want to work yeah. 24 hour days and that sort of thing. So she actually said to me afterwards, she said that she would be up for some maybe more podcasts, but she needed just a little mm. bit of downtime. But I think mm. she she actually quite enjoyed it. That's maybe awesome. she'll be yeah. a guest for you next. That could be. That could yeah. be. That but, would be great. People yeah. would love that. Yeah, Julia's coming on. Oh, yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. But I think she just, like, I think she honestly has more things to say. Okay. Yeah, and she quite, she quite enjoyed talking about it. I don't think she does social media, though, to get in touch with him. Oh. Anyway, we well, can anyway, we could talk about it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but um, Kelsey, mm -hmm. Kelsey and I, oh so gosh. proud of Kelsey. Oh, I love so you, Kelsey. Good. Yes, she and I regularly joke about the worst podcast episode no in the world. Yeah. I think you, you both exaggerated. Yeah. Um, I think so too. It uh, it was incredibly awkward. But we we are awkward people, she and I. Together. But we got it going. We got it going. You got it going. She she's another person that is like so incredibly smart and has so many things to share. And um I think we just tried to fit too much in maybe an episode. Again, you walk in here, there's cameras all over, yeah. you hear your own voice, you speak into a microphone. That's a lot of pressure. It's it is. it's not easy. You know, yeah. it's a different setting ex and you know, it's, it is what it is. I think she did amazing. Yeah. And I'm not saying it was just her. I was awful as well. That was, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's that. I can't lie about that. That's true. That, that is true. <laughs> it was just kidding. <laughs> we sat there and, you know, thankful for, for Michael and Moet and their editing skills because we sat there and just <laughs> stared at each other, which is surprising because it's you guys amazing. have quite the conversations. Okay. in person mm -hmm. but yeah i think it was i think the for setting. kelsey it was the whole mic and headphones yeah um and just getting those flow points together because i've heard her talk about things and like she can just go on she's really good mm -hmm. like she's so and knowledgeable on, yeah. and and she's a very skilled trainer and i'm so thankful that she came on 100%. Um, it was I think, just funny yeah maybe about. next time the way to help her is just what we've started doing a little bit is breaking it down yeah, look at, you can't see it, but there's a camera there, there's one here, and there's one there. And you, the person that sits where you, you both sit, looking yeah. at three cameras. Yeah. Yeah, but you after that, remember that one first time where she got I stared at the camera. Focused staring on the camera. We now just look at you. Exactly. Yeah. So that's why your facial expressions uh -huh. do matter, yeah. you know, because we look at you, we don't really look at the cameras, actually. That's good. Yeah, yeah I yeah. don't really look up. Mm -hmm. But I think the content of the Kelsey episode's good stuff. It is. The presentation from from my part maybe not as great, but um that was also when you had Mike on. Yes, actually. So we had I Mike on and we, we had trainer the Mike. Famous Mike. We met the famous Mike. We got video footage it's like having <laughs> Mike in the studio. Having like unicorn yeah. on footage or something and you're just like he exists. Yeah, I also think he he wants to come back. I don't think he was done. He he's a, think another he great done. speaker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has so much knowledge, and he's one of the ones that like clients have asked me and stuff, and they're like, "Oh, why isn't he certified? Like he's so good." And I just say, he "Doesn't he's he doesn't have the time, right?" He's yeah, so like busy. he's he definitely says he's working towards it, working up on it. But you know, he had the younger kids, and now he has the the kids with activities. Yeah, every night, and that's why we only get him one night a week. But um, for a living, he actually does 
education. Yeah. Mm, yeah. He okay. teaches people how to use different things. So he's able to really break it down. And he, he definitely, yes, yeah. yes. And loves his little bit of terminology. Mm -hmm. he, yeah, he whenever does. we get clients that give us feedback on Mike, number one, it's always positive. It's always great. Yeah. Um, and it's always about how he explains things. Mm -hmm. And they always love the way like that they've made something click for them. Okay. In a way that maybe we haven't or, or not with the clicker you know. though. Yeah. No. Not with the clicker. <laughs> not, not with quite. the clicker. I'm gonna just have like the dark classroom jokes and I have them all written dad down jokes here. written yeah. down. No, yeah. No no dad, dad jokes. No dad, no dad yeah. jokes. No. Yeah. So yeah, like and he's passionate about it. He is. Yeah. yeah. And I think it was really cool for people to understand how we built our relationship together. Mm -hmm. And our relationship has I don't want to say it has changed, but it it in his everyday life helps us to have a little bit different perspective or to remember that because and then he's you know you know geeky it guy too so that's a bonus for us mm -hmm. yeah and i think yeah. he's also he's really relatable in that he's not doing agility with his dogs he's not doing what we're doing you know spending all of our time doing dog stuff like he has his family he has his job he's he's very relatable for clients mm -hmm. yeah and he gives us that perspective that sometimes I feel like maybe we get a little bit removed from it. Just we don't know what else to do. We don't do anything else, right? We need so, a hobby. Um, I tell you, I the could dogs talk about are, my, our yeah, hobbies. I know. She's doing pottery now. I think I stick really? with dog training. <laughs> wow. But but it's just it's good to have Another somebody hobby? that's relatable. I thought, I thought you do ice sculptures now. I know. With the chainsaw. With the chainsaw. <laughs> You're a, a lumberjack now. Yeah, I'm not allowed to use a chainsaw. <laughs> Me either. Yeah, we um, tried. <laughs> so maybe we can ask you. Okay. Oh, what what's something that you learned from our guests? From the guests. From yeah. the guests. Braveness. Braveness. Okay. Yeah. How come that word? Because like like as like I said before, you I do podcasts like Monday to Monday Wednesday every week, right? We bring. A variety of people with different backgrounds and diversity onto the Michael Hill show. And you know, the art of speaking is a true art, communication, and to bring people on and then they elaborate about their life and what they're special about, meaning with all what we talked about with you. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. That's brave because it's not easy. It's not easy to come in here yeah and i feel like the way you organized it you had one week you booked four people in we did eight episodes with guests and you know that's that's braveness and mm -hmm. then now i it's a relationship because you know now i talk with julia julia is going to come on the podcast for on my side we're going to connect you know we doctor Panenton. Panenton. I was going to say Jessica. Spotify. <laughs> Spotify. <laughs> love it. Love it. No. That, yes. That's how he's going to remember me for the next Spotify. few months. Spotify. Spotify. Yeah. And like the, the people. I think it's the really listeners. brave. And it's like, that's what inspires me. And then plus the content you built with it together and to help people educate on the, those topics specifically. That's brave. Okay, yeah. so here's the question. What'd you learn from Amelia and I? Oh. Oh. I learned how <laughs> to eat fruit snacks. <laughs> how to eat fruit snacks. Amelia needs her hair fixed. And Marie likes diet coke. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and watched you drink that whole thing in front of her. I know. I, sh I should have brought a bottle for you. <laughs> you did not. We would have heard the whole time the the <sighs> I actually like I forgot to bring you t-shirts. I had some t-shirts at home with the we Michael should do it on it top. A yeah. We, you want to bring them a t-shirt? Yeah. We can do that. Yeah, I got to drop it off too. I have to to drop off one for each of you. I'm sure we'll get together again. What I learned about, you know, to ask the question again specifically? What did you learn from Amelia and I? More like about I don't want to say us, but what we do. Oh, what you do? What we do. I was able to be part of what you do every day in a different form, Matt. I was able to be part of that journey that you help the community with and all the dogs and all the people. And it's not just dogs, it's people too. Mm -hmm. That's, I, I learned that. Awesome. 
And do you feel like maybe, like, would you call yourself a dog person? Mm, I like dogs. But, like, I don't like cats. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> But what about you? Are you like a dog person? Oh my god, yeah. I yeah? am totally a dog person. If okay. this was the the cat classroom, you would not be seeing me. <laughs> we would not see Moet at the yeah. cat classroom. Yeah, Got it. Like, Damn, Moet. Actually, we should have showed um, when you guys came to the training space. We should have taken video of the two of you I know running around the room yeah. with oh, your no. camera and giggling and watching. We'll have to and... do it again. Mm -hmm. Or when I stubbed my toe and cursed on someone's camera. <laughs> Oh, I think and then you it. made a yucky face, and that was yeah. fun too. Yeah, that was awful. Yeah, I was I mean, not we, having we, a good day. No, <laughs> I think we should try something again, like when it's nicer and we could do stuff outside. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I would love to. We could do a summer promo for season three. Yeah, mm -hmm. there we go. Yeah, there we go. things to think about. There we go. Although Flying this is going to be airing in field. December. So. Yeah, we can go um, do parkour. We can go bushwalking. We can do agility. Yeah. We could do what's the podcast that you used to do when you would just go somewhere? Who? Oh, uh, pop up podcast. Yeah, yeah. what, what could... is it called? Streets, right? Yeah, yeah. streets. Yeah. Streetcast. I don't know. Streetcast. Street we could do that, but like bush, bushcast. <laughs> <laughs> No. Maybe not that. That's a that's a working name. <laughs> let's, let's cut that out. Huh. All right. Anyway, um, <laughs> what did you think of the barking episode? Really loved it. A lot of barking. From my production so side, I would have broken it up into two. Yeah, because it was it, a lot. Because it was it, it was so good that I think you could have stretched into two episodes where you know you could. It's almost like a mini series where you draw people back. Mm. And, but I also understand why you did it in one session. But from production standpoint, really would have taken it into two. But I love the interaction. And then I also love the authenticity because, you know, you, uh, Anne Marie, you said, yeah, I can see it on the big screen. You know, this is what it is. And then we changed it up a little bit and then yeah we did yeah so yeah. i really that's authentic and that's yeah i really care about that that's good yeah um i did i don't think that i considered that it would take as long as it like i thought you know i hope this is going to be enough clips of barking and we didn't even get through half of them that's um, every episode though yeah like i give you heads up at 20 minutes and you're like okay <laughs> and then you're just like see you Later. Yeah, <laughs> we just panic and, and shut it down. I just think with the barking, we didn't put in the time of, OK, we're going to listen to it. Then we let everybody have the option of thinking about it. Really and then by the time we both commented. Yeah, I just thought it was like a cool idea for an Super interactive good. episode with the listeners to be like, what do you think that this is? Mm -hmm. So then maybe we all have to do something else with the barking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we still have lots of barking clips to go through, so maybe we do that as like a an Instagram. Or something. Yeah, that, or like, what's my dog talking about? Yeah, Turns dog talk. Dog that's talk. Your, Is that what I'm called? Yeah, that's what you're called in. in that's the paper. what I'm called in the newspaper. Okay. Dog oh. talk. Um. <clears throat> then where did we go? Um, we we just uh, we tried to talk about like back to school. We did the winter one. Yeah, our seasonal episodes. Summertime. I'm going backwards. Um, summertime and then a little bit of spring. We also threw in there a little bit of resource guarding. So I think overall, like we were trying to do like training components, behavior components, um, people. Like people think, yeah. addressing things like that that the human side of of dog training because a lot of people i think just think that we we like throw cookies at dogs and then that's, <laughs> that's all it is right but i mean i've no, definitely so. we've honestly had conversations with julia of like we should do consults together because a lot of the time it's like family counseling mm. it is and it is yeah. there's been a few times i've been there and i've gently suggested that i'm not a relationship counselor um, though I've had to be from yeah. my own marital <laughs> experience. But yeah, it's it's um, it's never just a dog coming into a house or a dog behavior. There's always the whole environment that it's in. We once adopted. So this is a story of Shadow. OK, Shadow, Shadow. is a black uh, Quebec and Quebec, Quebec. He's from Quebec. Okay. Yeah. Um, we were on a trip from Germany to Canada 
early 2000s and my sister always wanted a dog and mm, back then in Quebec in that area that yes. was close to Montreal I yes. think it's somewhere in Mont Tremblant they where all the fancy people go and yeah. start a sports yeah. car and play tennis there there was this dog and then they had it in an, an animal store still like a pet store yeah, yeah. They, that i don't know if it's still legal probably not no i don't think so yeah. uh, i don't think you see them anymore and he pee peed on my dad right away so my parents i guess they decided to get that dog for my sister and the story goes like this it's a long flight back to Germany. I Ooh. find that interesting that you would adopt a dog in Canada and take it I back know. to Germany. I didn't do it, right? Yeah. I was there. Why wouldn't you just wait till you got back to Germany? I don't know. Okay. Right. So then they, he got checked in, you know, they, they fly and then we finally get him back out and we open up the, the travel box in the parking lot mm -hmm. area where the mm -hmm. car is. And Shadow, who is a black dog, it's a brown dog. <laughs> oh, no. I thought there's something else going to happen. I was glad. That uh -oh. No, there's more to Shadow. Shadow is like the ultimate, like, it's, you, you go for a walk with him. You come back. You make him sit in front of the door. You look at him. He's a good boy. You unleash him. You open the door. He looks at you. And I, I'm just thinking, no and shoo, he's gone mm. yeah 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 <laughs> sneaky yeah and one time we almost lost him we found him after a couple hours but he was he loved to run <laughs> 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 one time there's one more story and then i i shut up the i oh, love it yeah there we were um there was this in Germany, that where we lived, there was the two fields in the middle, close by, where you had to travel through. You could pass. There was this old windmill thing, just yeah. like yeah, if that's in the Netherlands, everywhere, right? And the dog, the Shadow, saw something, and he crossed the busy road, and all we heard was <laughs> car braking, and Shadow just was like, oh. I'm good. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Walk it off. <laughs> he just walks it off. The car is, I don't remember, but I, I, I think it had like a dented door. Oh. Because he just went right. Ran into it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He crossed, not looking, and he just got lucky that way. But just like that, that dog was just unbelievable power. Wow. And driven and just like. See you later. Mm. And yeah, that's the story of Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I there's going to be like a climax. There like is one one. more. There is one more. But I don't want to take this over, right? We love Shadow. Okay. We're here for yeah, Shadow. Yeah, but I was just going to say, so the issues that you had with Shadow to the topics that we covered and what oh, we yeah. talked about, mm -hmm. what could you have done better? What, and Ooh. don't unleash him before I go inside. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Big mistake. Maybe management strategy. train some recall. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> some like recall. <laughs> subscribe to Doc Classroom. No. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Rate us five stars. <laughs> Why, watch the podcast. Yeah. Take, a, take a class. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. So we we ended up because if you move if you move a dog within a certain age from Canada to Germany, they don't have to go into quarantine. Yeah. But when he was older and we moved, actually we immigrated to Canada, he would have had to go into quarantine. Yeah. Mm. And I think it was six months or a year. Ooh. I don't know how long. Damn. But he yeah. would in Toronto. That's sad. So we ended up finding a family for him. My parents did all this, right? I was just part of it. And then I remember they went for the first checkout. Hey, how's it going? And they had this house, a huge backyard. And then they had this house and there was pillars, just like the water balls in front of it, right? Mm -hmm. And the first thing Shadow does, he goes to the pillar and he's just like, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> and we all knew this is gonna be his place. Yeah, he was just making sure everyone knew. He was yeah. just marking it. He yeah. stayed there overnight just to try it out. And then the next day we came back. And I truly believe that's true. A dog looks like the owner in a way. 
right? We never talked about this on the podcast, but like people look like the dog sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Or some personalities are geared to different personalities or breeds and dogs. Mm. Yeah, I agree there. And his face ha had changed. Like you could see that, you know, there. this is what it is. Mm. He was to be there. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Mm. Well, it worked out for him. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 that's it. Shadow is probably now in the dog heaven, mm -hmm. yeah. right? But yeah. he had a good life. Sounds like it. Yeah. <laughs> Some adventures anyway. Yes. Yeah, there was another black lab in that house. I remember that now. Oh, okay. So he had a friend. Yeah, must have. Cute. Yeah. yeah. And, th and that was it for pets? From when I grew up? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. from when you grew up. Yeah. 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 Actually, I only had one dog growing up. Same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then my mother would just keep telling me that when I moved out, I could have however many dogs I wanted. And you took that very literally. <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> when Mike and I started to date, we had the conversation that if, if this relationship is That's husband Mike, not sorry. trainer yeah. Mike or podcast Mike. Yeah, sorry yeah, guys. Sure. Um, you know, if we are going to continue to date, then, you, you know. needed some dogs. Yeah, I was going to have dogs and he was going to um. learn to live with them and love them. And um, 20 some odd married with five dogs, two children, a cat, a cat. Yeah. And the dog and classroom. a business. Yeah. yeah. And the dog classroom on property. It's living way to go. Mostly happy. <laughs> Live in the dream. <laughs> Live in the dream. It's amazing. It's a lot of hard work. You know, people have that perception of like, oh yeah, it must be nice. Mm -hmm. Right? But like, let's be honest, it's a lot of hard work. Yeah, we don't we don't really have days off. No. I don't know um, what that it is. No. I mean, we sometimes try. Yeah, and then we talk to each other and it turns into a work day. <laughs> like the time when I was sick and I said no work and you were like, just one work. And I was like, fine. <laughs> yeah, but that was just to tell you that know, it was canceled. Mm -hmm. but well, which was, was a good thing because then you went home to bed. Yes. Yeah. Um, but even like when you're literally like actually on vacation, um, something comes up. You're sitting on the beach in your lawn chair. Got to, don't turn it on. Don't turn it on. Am. Texting. Don't turn it responding on. Responding to emails. Yeah. Yeah, we got we got some boundary issues over here. We but. do, mm. but you know it has gotten maybe a little better. But yeah, and and I think that's that's part of being just an entrepreneur, as 100%. you would know, right? Yeah. As people message you at whatever time, and that's you know maybe after everything that's gone on in the day, that's when you have time to answer it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just, yeah, that's how you know some days go better than others as far as work family balance. I think everybody has experiences that somewhere. Yeah. I don't know if any, you know, I wish I had the eight to five job. I did have the eight to five job. I gave it up for this, so. Mm -hmm. That's a big step. Yeah, but. Um, Me too though, technically. Oh yeah, you did. I, yeah. I did have other jobs. <laughs> yeah, we did. It's not like this was the first thing in the plan. No, but what, this this was. It wasn't ever. The better thing. Yeah, but, and then again, that's what I say too. Like, even when I started it, this was never the plan. It just emerged, mm -hmm. right? And then, you know, you add more classes, you add staff, you add more training, you add um, more specialization. Yeah. And it just, then you add social media, which is a whole nother ball game. Yeah, it's been right. a, Nowadays, it's, been a it's just. Spotify. Spotify's in there. Hey, like, yeah. when I first started, it was the phone book. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. and it imagine? was the newspaper. And you she had to does pay yellow for, pages. You had to pay to be in the yellow pages, right? Yeah. She still does. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just to have it come up on. Oh, online. Even? Online, and no, it comes up online, okay. and that's why I do it, not to be in the yellow pages. Because mm -hmm. honestly, I remember the phone book used to be like yay big, and now it's like yay big. Yeah. No, it's more for the online thing. I still don't think it's necessary. But well, okay, then I won't do it because okay. then I'll save the money. Then. Mm. Okay. Okay, well, we never really discussed the phone. <laughs> but honestly, that's that's how businesses have changed. Yeah. It's so true. Right? Like before it was it was none of the social media and it's a whole job on its own. And luckily, Miss Amelia does does it because. Really good. Yeah. I do my best. No, really well. <laughs> because and I, I don't want to say I don't have the interest, but, you know, the emails and the, the phone calls and whatever already just, 
you know, take take a lot of time. I can't even imagine trying to keep up posting and being yeah. so. I know. There's a whole a whole business outside of social media that, like, we were talking. I don't know if it was on air or not, but when you were saying, I don't even know what's on the TikTok page or the Instagram page or any of that. Like, it, there's just you don't have the time to to do it. So I'm over here doing it, and sometimes it's weird, and and sometimes it's good. You okay, Maud? Yep. Okay. <laughs> So, he just fell um, off his chair, everybody. But other than that, since he's good. we don't have our our yeah our, our, our five our minutes, signal. I think we've hit five minutes. I was waiting for it to come. But oh, really? You want me to do this? No, you didn't tell me. No, but he actually seems quite relaxed with this. Yeah, like we could sit here. Well, yours are an hour long. We could just keep going. Uh, I had a lot of water today. <laughs> 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 come on, come on, hurry up. Um, what's something that you learned through sitting here, listening to us talk about dogs for? however many hours um that surprised you it surprised me mm -hmm. lots of things it really about the perfection again it's okay not to be perfect right mm -hmm. i think especially with social media now it looks like everybody looks like they got a perfect dog i'd like to i like the honest communication be between both of you and the exchange and you know the right values I think I really learned to even like the way we talk, mm -hmm. uh, like when we're not live and we come in here or we crack a joke. It's just like I felt like after the first session, not the very first, but the first one. And then the second one, things slowly changed. You know, we be we all became more relaxed. Yeah. 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 And it's like it's for me, it's a relationship. Like I'm being I were able to be part of this and I really enjoy it and I feel good about it. So I learned a lot about you, how you produce things together oh. and how authentic it is. Authentic. Authentic. And we should write that word down. Authentic. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And then as far as the rest of our topics, we had, so noise sensitivity, fearful reactive dogs. And then we talked about winter stuff, which I mean, we already talked about the seasonal a little bit, but what did you learn anything or was there anything that stuck out to you on those last few episodes that you were like huh that was that was interesting that yeah, was what, surprising what did tony ask again <laughs> tony yes. oh the electric skateboard that yeah. was tony mm. well i learned something apparently mike rode one for two years mike rode an electric skateboard yes yeah, right yeah. here is it here? Yeah. You want to see it? Yeah. Mo, do you want to pass over the box? <laughs> what? How do you do that living in Thunder Bay, though? Uh, you die almost. Yeah. Because even bike lanes are not good in Thunder Bay. He's yeah. stuck to You have to wait till they do the roads and they clean them. I'm trying to picture like this six foot five giant man riding with a beard. Yeah. Oh, Sammy. Last mile vehicle. Yeah, the company's dead now. Oh. They closed it? Yeah, Booster is dead. That's too bad. So yeah. the reason this came up while Michael's doing his unboxing ASMR video uh, <laughs> <laughs> is because uh, we were talking about sound sensitivities and right. um, basically how the sound that it produces might yeah. cause some dogs to be Because Mike said stressed. there was like a high pitched. I was more concerned about the wow. movement. Oh, wow. That's like heavy duty on the back wheels there, eh? Yeah. yeah. That's the engine. It's even charged though. You want me to put it on? You want yeah, to let's hear, hear the sound. Sure. Okay. Oh, true ASMR. Okay. Are we are we gonna like blow <laughs> Do we our need ears? To just, like at the <laughs> No. Just like it. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the clapping? <sighs> yes. Do we have some uh the Welsh? Oh I do have some Welches. Of course I wouldn't be here without them. <laughs> I actually ate them when we were on a break. Are uh, they remote? Oh, it's on too. Okay, let's see if it works. Welcome to the unboxing. <laughs> Check us out. Oh, okay. Interesting. That is, yeah, I get that. You know what that reminds me of is those little cars. No control cars. Home. Yeah. Also like a drill machine. Like a drill? Yeah. Drill machine? No, drill. Okay. Some kind of tool. Like a dual. Drool. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. It's so good. I'm, I'm so noisy with this. I shouldn't have brought it out. Ah, well, I think you wanted to. So I kind of want to see you riding it. Yeah, but honestly, last year they had those in, in Duluth and you could rent them. So oh. instead of everybody renting the bikes and you know how they have the 
four people can bike, like two in the front, two in the back. So mm. instead of people renting those, all the kids had these. And if you know Duluth Canal Park, it's quite busy with walking traffic and traffic in general and that sort of thing. And then these things were zipping in and out of the people, in and out of the cars. That's and crazy. I swear there was going to be a few people that were going down. Yeah. Hmm. It, it was it was quite intense, I think. But but the kids were just flying. But they have all those nice paths all along the front and everything. So it was actually a good place to do it. But they made me nervous when they were on the road. This but, episode is not sponsored by Boost. <laughs> yes, there we go. Because the company doesn't exist. Yet. <laughs> Are we, we supposed to say hashtag something? Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> hashtag not affiliated. Learning about hashtags. Yes. There, there's something I learned. Yeah. I actually didn't retain it very well either, but because I went back on the things on the phone and I was trying to click on the hashtags. But all right. Things that we learned. Um, hashtags. Spotify. Spotify. Um, DMs. DMs. Um, trying to sound excited for our intro. Um, podcast voice. Podcast voice. Um, um, like and subscribe. Things. Yeah. Yeah, producing on the spot. That Mike can um, has like five different voices. Yes, Mike is very talented. Yeah, um, Mike and Moet are a great team. Yeah, <laughs> um, this was your first venture together into producing, That's right? Very true. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, so hopefully you guys continue. It's a uh, it's an honor. It's yeah. really good. We yeah. I learned a lot on the production side as well. Good. We did we did a couple mistakes for sure. So but, here's know. to um, oh. next year. Next year, yeah. season three. Season three. Better, I was going to say bigger and better. I don't know. Bigger, better, dark classroom. The dark classroom. See, he just Spotify. does it so much better. Bigger, better Spotify. on Spotify. The dark classroom. Yeah. Available now. Maybe we need an accent. <laughs> maybe. That's it. We need to do it with a, not a German, but maybe we should try. My mic likes to do an Irish accent. It's yeah. very good. All right. Do then. Texas. Texas? <laughs> yeah. I don't do no? Texas. I don't think so. You know what I pick up on? I did this once is um, Scottish accent because mm. I have two aunts that are Scottish. And yeah. sometimes when you're around them, you just Your start family to. family is French. They married two Scottish. Oh, the two okay. Frenchmen married the two Scottish. I have a problem when I watch a show and there's an accent like the Vikings. You pick it up. I speak the same kind yes. of English then for the next three weeks. Yeah. Aww. I think a lot of people do that. And Lisa's always like... My husband does the same thing. He watches an again. Irish show, then yeah, he's yeah. Irish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's... he'll watch his English show, then he's English. So. But not everybody does that, though. Yeah, it's just you, I don't. I particular love... few. You mm. like to do accents? Yeah, I love doing it. I mean, I love being in that zone when I watch a show and then just speak in that. So <laughs> here, here's the question. Who might you be talking to? when you're doing your accent. <laughs> are you talking to the TV or are you hopefully, you know, talking to somebody else in the room that's, or? That's kind of why I just stopped watching Indian shows because I just don't want, like sounding like an Indian anymore. I just sound uh, like sounding like a German sometimes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's actually really good. What did I teach you the other day? Schnitzel. No, I teach <laughs> Schnitzel. <laughs> that's a thing, right? Schnitzel, yeah. I learned that oh, from a Hallmark BMW. movie. Yeah, Bailsche Motorenwerke. That sounds like some like Viking stuff. It's BMW, like the car brand. Oh. oh. So it means like Munich um, Engine Works. Oh, yeah. hmm. interesting. Because you thought it means British mo Motor Works. Yeah. yeah, which, no. Hmm. Anyways. Things we learned, German. Hmm. Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> Studio. <laughs> Studio. <laughs> so what did you learn about podcasting? That what did you hard. learn in the last weeks? What did you learn? Well, I think actually what and we... And why did you want to do a podcast? I have all the answers. You do? Yeah. No, you can ask it. But I think we learned because we did those few with you. And then we tried to do them in Amelia's spare room. Yeah. And then we added curtains and then we added sound. We Ooh. tried to add blankets or something for sound. And yeah. we actually realized that there's more to it than having a microphone, a camera. 
It's kind of like dogs, where people get a dog and they go, that looks easy, I can do that. And then they try to train the dog at home and make a bunch of mistakes. Yeah, because the concern was the lighting. We tried that and it was the sound thing. The lighting, the sound, the timing. Yeah, it was it was all a little we bit. We didn't weird. do the editing, but that was also a part. Ellie did the editing. Yeah. Um, I think just we learned that it was it's it's hard to produce. You have a, a difficult job. Um, and also that like it's hard to be the one sitting here because mm-hmm. it's very uncomfortable sometimes yeah. to look at all the cameras. I actually think your feedback is extremely helpful because mm-hmm. it is positive reinforcement. It makes us, um, even though we think we did maybe absolutely terrible when off topic and then even what Amelia is saying and you still say, oh, no, you did fine. And mm-hmm. you sort of cheer us on, I think. That actually helps us going It does help. Sometimes. It helps the confidence. And also on that same sort of note, when we did something that maybe wasn't fantastic and you'd be like, let's try it this way. Like mm. it was, it wasn't like that was the worst thing. You know, even um, when Kelsey and I were in here making fools of ourselves, <laughs> you weren't like, okay, like get out. You know, it was like, let's try it. <laughs> Yeah, no, but I think there's there's patience. Uh, like, yeah, who okay. says you want to sit here and deal with us, keep screwing up, like we were trying to do the trailer thing last mm. week. And, yeah. you know, like, yeah, you want to get home and stuff, but you do, you both have a lot of patience. There wasn't any faces or any sighing or... That was good. Yeah, mm-hmm. anything. So, yeah. you know what, you're you're good at your job, and hopefully this leads to, to others because... Yeah. You know, you are. You're very supportive. Five star review on Yellow Pages. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but um, thank yeah. you, thank you for the kind words. I am very thankful that I was able to work with you. Yeah, because I thank think you. you know when we were on here, when you asked us to come on here, it's sort of something we thought about, and then we did it, and then we were super nervous about it. Oh yeah, I was like super sweaty, but. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you make everybody at ease. You do. Yes. You're very easy to talk to. Very and I host. think this was why we decided to do it. Or you gave us the ability mm. to do it. And well, you had it, but you realized you could do it. But the thing is, if we wouldn't have done that one with you and we wouldn't have felt so comfortable, I don't know if we would have recorded these and done this. Okay. To be honest. Interesting. Yeah, Yeah. because there's been like there's always stuff that we're like, oh, I wish like we could do a webinar on this or something, but it's not really a webinar topic or like it's just something we want to talk about. And and this is a good way to get that information out there. Mm -hmm. Um, I know in particular with the grant, like when we were talking about it, it's also, you know, we're kind of isolated in Thunder Bay. There's not um, there's not a lot in northern Ontario and there's different communities that don't have any dog trainers up there. And. Um, so we're trying to to get helpful information um, and make it accessible mm-hmm. for people who maybe uh, don't have access. So to. using that social media now, so it's another output, right? It's another way for education. And we are in northern Ontario, right? So we sort of know how it works. And because mm-hmm. yeah. that's what the grant is more about women in northern Ontario. But. Yeah, and just just getting quality information out to people, so they have like they if they know us, they're our clients, and they they trust us. We can say you know listen to this podcast that we did, and you'll get that information instead of googling a bunch of things for mm-hmm. people you don't know, right? You know, or taking someone's social media post and going, oh, I saw this, I'm gonna try that. Like it's it's stuff that we know and want to share. Yeah, you do every day for so many years. I think we've gotten good compliments too. Yeah. Yeah. We've had good feedback. Um, like I said, the, the production, um, when we started doing, like, with you again, um, people were like, thank you. Like, please don't try to do that in your house again. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was good that you went. And you, both of you, like, you continued. And when you came back, both of you were already better than earlier. Mm-hmm. It helped you personally, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Well, and I think too, like at that time when we were doing that, that was when Holly had passed away. Yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. that was maybe not, you know, my best, my best moment. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> well, you but, put heart and soul into it. So yeah, it was, it was just when we came back and the production got better and, you know, we, we had sort of more organization to it and we, 
we just, I think we had a better flow. But the other thing too is it was mentioned that we should script it or whatever. I'm not a script person. No. No. I don't want a script. I can, I know. you know, we can take a few ideas or He's whatever. He's like, I know, I tried to give you one. No, I know. And this is, again, this is because it's so good. Because you can't make that up. You cannot act this way. Mm -hmm. But I think too is, is, you know, talk to us 10 years ago in this career it would have been different. Yeah. But, you know, once you do so many seminars and everything and the odd time too, she's tried to get me to do a script for a seminar. I'm like, no, you can give me a few key points to make sure I'm on task, but I'm just not the type of person to sit there and read something. But, you know, like we're all different. Like if you ask me to stand up in front of somebody and give a speech about something else, mm -hmm. I'm not going to do it, yeah. you know, and it's it's different when you're passionate about the information and you know it well, you're able to deliver it better. Very true. Right, because you're just, yeah. And I that's why we wanted to do podcasts. I joked with Amelia and said that I would never write a book because me sitting down to do it, like even doing articles, you know, that's good enough. I got 500 <laughs> words. I just don't know if I could sit there and express myself the best way I could. And I feel this way because of the non scripting and because I feel like we have so much to share and I in getting the feedback you know like even Laura Lish and stuff say I love listening to you guys in your voice and I'm like seriously like and they're like or the dogs hear it and they get excited yeah mm -hmm. which I'm hoping maybe for next time we'll get like we got more guests or more bring. guests but just like maybe the a little bit of dog footage or noise or maybe we could tweak yeah. something but yeah. anyway we but that's Tony yeah, we yeah, to Tony. Tony Malone, yeah, but reference. I was thinking that Raphael's around. Okay, yeah, Amazing. so in the building, so All right. I yeah. Whisper as well. Um, so why don't we have the professional wrap it up for us? Yeah. No, you do a competition. Each of us will do an outro okay. and then oh, comment no. below and say which one is your favorite. No, what you start. Fight us on Spotify. That's the only thing nice he will short. remember about good. me. No. It's no, the whole no. Spotify. Anytime you see me in public, now it's Spotify. <laughs> That's the Spotify lady. I'm gonna get myself a t-shirt. I want a t-shirt. Okay, I'll get you a Spotify t-shirt. Okay. You should do the dark classroom available on Spotify. Mm. Like you do the dark classroom on the front and you do available on Spotify on the back. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You'd be like, you'd just be like, hmm. <laughs> when they say to me are you a dog trainer <laughs> episode four go listen <laughs> and with this everybody this is the dog classroom episode 25 very special episode two <laughs> that's my show sorry <laughs> how can we even remotely compete we with that we can say okay um thank you for tuning in to the final episode of season two of the dog classroom podcast and um I'm waiting for her to either pause and I interject or she's on a roll and I'm just going to let her keep going. Spotify. <laughs> Everybody, thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Anne Marie Amelia. This is golden. Season two. Season thank two. You. I was going to say watch on Spotify. <laughs> you can. Spotify. <laughs> All right. We're good. Thanks, team. Woo. Who let the dogs out? Oh, I knew that was coming too. <laughs> I'm gonna work. I'm gonna work on my uh, on my uh, my voice for you. Okay, I'll work on it. Season three, we're gonna have the best intro you've ever yeah. heard. All right. Yeah. I'm pumped. Yeah. There'll just be a few beverages, and then we'll get out the camera, and you'll be surprised what comes out. Let's go to the studio. The dog classroom.